To make the animation process easier, Toon Boom Harmony gives you morphing options as well. So let's understand how that works. So to work with morphing option, first of all, I'm going to go over here on to polyline tool and then draw a simple uh, stroke right over here. So I'm going to go over here, click on it, click over here and click over here. So four points, that would be okay. So once you do that, I'm going to click over here to end that point out. So what I want to do is, let's say I want a 10 frame animation. So I'm just going to increase the frame by pressing F5 right here. And I want this frame right here to be a copy uh, frame. So I'm going to right click on this. And once I right click, I'm going to go to drawings and I'm going to duplicate the drawing. So this is another frame as you can see. So this is frame five, this is frame Four, right over here so that's how Toon Moon decided to name it for some reason so now what I what we're going to do is we're going to do a morph animation for so for that I'm going to go over here and then use the contour editing tool right over here so contour editor I'm going to make a, a small slight small shape change so if there's a lot of chains it might not work correctly so slight shape change right over here so this one a bit over here and this one a bit over here. So there you can see that there's a bit of a motion going on right over here. So if you want to create in between frames, I can let Toon Boom create it for me. And do that, I can go over here onto the first frame. I can right click and then I can go to morphing and click on create morphing. And the shortcut key for it is Alt plus M as you can see right here. So if I were to click on this, you can see arrows right here. So this is the end frame. This is the beginning frame. But as I scrub through, you'll be able to see that the first shape actually morphs into the second one right over here, as you can see. So I can work around with the animation just like that. I can go to the other frame on how long I want. I can press F5, right click, and I will have to uh, duplicate drawing. The shortcut key for it is Alt Shift D, creates a new frame, go to the contour editor, go over here, make a few more changes right over here, just like this. And I can go over here on this frame now, because that is a starting frame, uh, and go to morphing and create morphing right over here. So that shape changes into this one. So you got this sort of an animation just like this, as you can see, and you do not need to draw in between frames by yourself, just like that. So that is how cool morphing gets. So if you want to change, if you make some change over here, so let's say I do this kind of change, the morphing actually adjusts right over there. So you do not need to go and add out another morphing or another create another drawing. It actually adjusts. So you can go over here onto the center frame right over here as well, just like this, and then change it out over here as well. So you can pull this out a bit and the morphing actually adjusts just like that. So this can be useful, uh, can be useful for a lot of cool things. And uh, if you have complex morphing, then you do have to work around a bit to refine the animation, but we're going to see that only in the future lessons. So let's work around with morphing in a practical scenario. So I'm just going to delete out this drawing. So I'm just going to delete this out. I'm going to go over here and add in, uh, add in a drawing right over here, a new drawing layer, close this out. So on the first frame, I'm just going to go around here and create an elliptical tool just like this. So just create an elliptical tool right over here, one over here onto the left, and copy and paste this out. So this one will be there on the right. So let me just select that there out. One on the right over here. So control C and V so that duplicates it and one over here. So now what I want to do is, uh, these are my eyes of the smiley face character. What I want to turn a frowning face that is a sad face into a happy face. So I'm going to go over here onto uh, my polyline. I'm going to create uh, straight mouth just like this and what I want to do is I want to turn it from happy to sad so I'm going to go on to the uh, contour editor and this is going to be my original uh, state so I just need to smoothen that, that out I'm gonna smoothen that out just like this by holding control and now I want I'm ready to do my animation so first of all I need a frowning face so this is my original face right here where the face is sad and now what I want to do is I want to have 10 frame animation, press F5, and then create a duplicate drawing, just like that. Change it out into a smiley face maybe, and uh, just like this, a really big smile face, just like that, move it around over here, and adjust it out. And then maybe separate out the eyes a bit as well, so I'm just going to go over here, 
let's move this around over here onto the side so let's use the arrow keys and use one over here as well so a bit of the chains over here onto the location as well so this is my starting and this is my ending right over here so to create a morph i'm going to go on to the first frame right click go to morphing and create morphing right over here and this is the animation that you get just like that so there you go you got the morphing animation and you can see that the in between frames actually happens by itself so i'm going to go over here and limit this out play this out right over here loop that out so this is the type of animation you get so you can just change around the frame per second so you can see the animation in really slow motion so that is how the frame the shape morphing actually works the in-between frames are created for you and you can create complex animation quite easily the in-between frames are made for you one of the very cool features of toon room harmony which makes uh 2d animation much more easier so that is how you can do shape morphing animation inside of toon room harmony so hope you guys learned something as always and as always please like comment share and subscribe.